Infinity 3.0 edition is finally here. One, two, three. Bring it to it! All right. Welcome to this very special episode of Toy Box TV. Oh. There you are! Oh my goodness, this is so totally cool. So I take it you didn't get the memo. Well, I was in the other soundstage and then I came over here and Allison, this is amazing! Yep, we're broadcasting now from the Toy Box in the El Capitan Theater, which is in the Toy Box Hub. Or on the Disney Infinity main menu, right? So you did get the memo. Maybe. We're gonna give you guys a look at all the day one content now available for Disney Infinity 3.0. Including all new Toy Box. Boxes. And all new tips and tricks. And we'll announce the winner of the community vote for our Toy Box Summit Challenge. Yeah, so let's get this thing started. Since this is the 3.0 launch episode, it only makes sense to start where Disney Infinity 3.0 begins, the starter pack. For those of you who are watching us from Inside 3.0, you're already probably pretty familiar with the starter pack, which comes with the Twilight of the Republic playset. And Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka figures. Let's dive in and take a closer look. Hit it. This playset takes place during the latter years of the Clone Wars, where you can explore four beautifully crafted worlds, Tatooine, Coruscant, Geonosis, and Naboo. Along the way, you'll be able to pod race, master your lightsaber skills as you slice through battle droids, and take on villains such as General Grievous and Darth Maul. Your fate has been sealed. In addition to Anakin and Ahsoka, you'll be able to play with, and alongside, some of your favorite Star Wars characters, like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. By the way, does Yoda have a last name? You're going to have access to the most elite team of Jedi in the galaxy to help you accomplish your mission. In 3.0, the moves are next level. I mean, check out Anakin's sick force pulls. And Ahsoka has not one, but two lightsabers, which are perfect for taking out battle droids. No shortage of those around this playset. As you can see, it's action-packed, it's beautiful, and it's fun for the whole family. Aww. So that's the Twilight of the Republic playset, included in the Disney Infinity 3.0 starter pack. Now, let's take a look back at the Toy Box Summit and see the gaming gurus behind this year's Toy Box Challenge. Here are some of our elite Toy Box masters. It would appear that she is placing some rectangular blocks. This guy's also placing some blocks. Okay, he's moving it. No. Putting it back over there. Nope. Now back over there. He's really focused. This guy is in deep concentration. Uh, John, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that he might just be asleep. Mm. Okay, so watching a Toy Box challenge isn't that exciting. But the end result yielded some of the most amazing Toy Boxes that we've ever seen. Look, and we have seen a lot of them. The Judges Toy Box Summit Challenge pick was announced at the Summit, where Team Order 66 took top honors with their Hoth-inspired Toy Box. Team Order 66 went on to receive all of the playsets, figures, and power discs available at the launch of 3.0. Today, we're going to reveal the toy box that you voted for. You guys did vote, right? So, without further ado... Drum roll, please! The winner of the community vote is... The fabulous members of Team Han Shot First with their Death Star-inspired toy box. Team members Pirate Steven, Model Train Man, The Baroness 89, and CC Runner 524 will officially be made into toy box townspeople in a future game update. Their Death Star toy box is made up of five expertly built stages, including the trench run and a grand finale boss battle with Darth Vader. Speaking of amazing toy boxes, our toy box challenge has become so popular that we're going to give it its very own weekly episode, which will begin every Thursday starting on October 1st. And since 3.0 has so many cool new features to work with, we're giving you, the Toy Box artist, an entire month for the first Toy Box Challenge for Disney Infinity 3.0. Every challenge will involve a new theme. Yes, and the theme of the first Toy Box Challenge is 
your favorite character. We want you guys to create a toy box inspired by your favorite Disney Infinity character. You can choose from 1.0, 2.0. Or like 2.7. And of course, the new 3.0 characters. Be sure to include the character's name in your toy box title and the hashtag character challenge in the description. Again, this challenge will be running for the first month of 3.0 so that everybody gets a chance to explore the 3.0 playsets and toy box expansion games. And unlock new toys to build with. Yes, you can now unlock new toys with the toy dispenser, a new feature in 3.0. What? All right, guys, the deadline is Wednesday, September 30th. In case you're in the future. <laughs> We're excited to see all the stuff you guys come up with. It's always amazing to see how you use the toy box in ways that we've never imagined. Y'all love tips and tricks, right? I mean, who doesn't? So we've decided to release tips and tricks videos separately so that you don't have to fast forward through me and Allison's amazing acting. Yeah, there's only so much fast forwarding we can take. It's exhausting. We'll have a new one for you each Wednesday. However, since it's the launch of 3.0, we're releasing a whole bunch of tips and tricks videos this week to help you guys get started. Including how to get started with 3.0, boss fight spawner, sidekicks, the path creator tool, the music note tool, and as Allison mentioned, the toy dispenser tool, and also- And the more, just click on the links in the description. Also, we've got a plethora of day one content. That's right, our Disney Infinity team has been very busy making lots of fun toy box creations. A plethora? Yes, a plethora of amazing creations, such as- Mission Infiltration. A stealth mission where you sneak around a base searching for secret items while avoiding the guards. If they spot you, they'll chase you, and you can wind up in the slammer. Then you have to escape and start all over again. Collection quest. This is a huge platforming world where you find friends who give you missions to collect their missing items. Your reward for returning all of their stuff? Yep, you guessed it. A dance party! Whoop, whoop. Where's Waddles? Explore a mysterious amusement park in Gravity Falls while you help Mabel search for her pet pig. And sometimes it's easier to find pigs from a bird's eye view. <laughs> The Soundsational Song Stumper. The metronome plays a tune, then the player must repeat the tune by stepping on the new music note creator pads in the right order. It's kind of like Simon Says. I guess I'm totally dating myself with that reference. I'm glad you found someone to date you. Aww. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Launchpad's Crystal Hunt. There are five crystals hidden deep in the valley, and Launchpad McQuack needs your help to find them. Other day one content includes the amazing Star Tours light speed to 3.0 toy boxes from the Toy Box Summit, complete with Hoth, Indoor, Coruscant, Tatooine, and the Death Star. All right, Infiniteers, that wraps things up for this week. week's episode. New episodes of Toy Box TV will now be available at our new time, Tuesdays, right here. Join us next week where our In the Spotlight segment will feature our favorite summer loving snowman. And we're gonna let you guys guess just who that might be. But in the meantime, remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.